Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Uh, so, uh, we continue on the next topic. Uh, this is, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, analyze data using PET sample t-test or dependent sample t-test. But before we go further, we need to know the purpose of PET sample t-test is to find the difference between PET variable. So if you have a repeated measured variable, right, then you can do PET sample t-test. So the example of a repeated sample or set, uh, dependent sample, for example, let's say um, if you can remember the biggest loser program, before the person enter to the program, enroll to the program, so the, at, the, at the beginning, they're going to measure weight of the participants, right? So after three months or three weeks uh, going through to the program, so then the, uh, the, you're going to take the uh, weight and you're going to measure weight for the, that participant again. So this measurement is on the same person, right? So this is what we call dependent sample or repeated measure. So uh, the assumption of bad sample t-test is the, f the dependent variable should be numerical. There should be two variable, two numerical variable that, that which is repeatedly measured, uh, repeated measure or dependent sample. And independent variable, there are no independent variable because this is a dependent sample uh, analysis. There are no independent variable. It should be two dependent variable. If you have more than two dependent variable, then you should stop using PET sample t-test, you should go for repeated measure ANOVA, repeated measure ANCOVA and so on, right? But for this case, we only uh, accept two repeated measure, right? For the same sample. The observation or sample are dependent or match. And the observation difference, the difference between two variables, these two variables should be normally distributed. Uh, Compared to independent sample t-test, we should measure the, the this normal distribution based on the, the two variables, the two groups, right? But in this case, PET sample t-test, we are measuring normal distribution based on the different of the observation, right? So the data format for this variable, uh, for this analysis, it should be uh, in long, in, in wide format. For example, let me open uh, SPSS for file. So I in SPSS file, in this uh, example, I'm using obesity pad data .sav. So I having BMI pre and BMI post before intervention, pre and after intervention, post. So what we want to know from this data is, is there any improvement or is there any increment or in, in decrease uh, decre uh, decrement or reduction before enrolling to the intervention and after an uh, intervention right so we have two dependent variable and these two dependent variables should be numerical in nature right so we should have numerical data right so so in order to use that data, SPSS file, obesity pad data dot SAV, we're going to use uh, Heaven package to import SPSS format to our environment. So then I'm going to load this one, library Heaven. If you don't have a library Heaven, you should uh, install package uh, Heaven as like this, install dot packages heaven if you don't have the library uh, installed into your packet into your R environment so i'm going to store uh, obesity pad data dot sav into data one right so by using read underscore sav so i'm going to call obesity pad data dot sav into data one r object right so in r object in, in our object, I already, in our, in, in our environment, I already store the object uh, data1, right? So if you want to see the head of data1, so it's going to show you uh, first six observation, 
if you want to see the last six observation tail data one right it's going to show you last six uh, observation so if you want to know how many observation are there data one dimension data one so it will show you there are 60 observation and three variable right the first variable is id which is uh, going to uh, match pre and post variable right so the second variable is bmi pre uh, before the intervention right and bmi post after the intervention right so if you want so in this data we need to make sure both bmi pre and bmi post are numerical so we're going to use is dot numeric bmip bmi pre so it will return true means that this data is a numerical so same goes to post we return true so means that this is the numerical data so <coughs> so then we can find uh, mean and standard deviation by using supply method no, normally we we use uh, mean data bmi pre and click hit enter so it will return the mean for bmi pre but uh, if you want bmi mean for bmi pre and bmi post together so we can we're going to use supply right so we're going to call the data set so i use minus one because um, if you can look at the names of the data set so the first variable is id i don't want mean for id so i just minus one means i'm going to just omit the first uh, variable which is id so i click hit enter for it for uh, supply data 191 mean so it will return mean for bmi pre and mean for bmi post same goes to if you i want to get standard deviation just uh, replace mean to standard deviation sd it will return standard deviation so then based on the assumption we need to make sure the assumption the for the assumption the difference between uh, bmi pre and bmi post are normally distributed so what we need to do is to need we need to create an, a new variable which is a different between bmi pre and bmi post so i create a new variable data one different diff and i store bmi pre minus bmi post so now when i hit enter if you can see hit data one there are additional variable a new variable has been included which is the different of bmi pre minus bmi pros right 25 minus 22 which is equal to 3 right so next what we need to do is to check a normality assumption for the difference so we're going to perform a histogram to see whether this data this variable is normally distributed right so i'm going to use hist the the variable name difference and then i'm going to hit enter so this code you will get from you you can get from my website so based on this code it will show that this data the difference between bmi pre and bmi pros is normally distributed and or you can do box plot to to see much clearer distribution right box plot data one it, it show you the data is normally distributed right so same as uh, independent sample t test we're going to use t dot test right to indicate uh, to 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 analyze uh, the data using pet sample or independent sample right the difference is uh, in independent sample t test we're not mentioning pet equal to true so in this uh, pet sample t test we need to mention pet equal to true so we need to input the first variable and the second variable and pad equal to true so i'm going to hit and uh, highlight this one and run this one so it will return 
the value of t distribution t value degree of freedom 59 which is we have 60 observation now n minus 1 59 the p value is um, very small right 0 0.00004 something right we have a uh, 10 0 in front right which is less than 0 0.05 right and they give us the 95 percent confident interval and the mean difference right so we need to know something the hypothesis hypothesis uh, for in the pet sample t test there are no significant different between BMI pre and BMI post right and for alternative hypothesis there is a significant different between BMI pre and BMI post right so since the p value is very small right less than 0 0.01 so what we need to uh, we can conclude that since the p value is less than 0 0.05 we're going to reject null hypothesis we're going to accept alternative hypothesis so we can conclude that there is a significant difference between BMI pre and BMI post. So we know that there is a significant difference. So what kind of difference is that? Is there any a good different a good is there any improvement or a reduction of the BMI? Is the BMI increase or BMI reduce before and after? So if you want to do I want to see that you, you're going to look at the mean of a BMI pre and post right if you can look at a mean and for BMI pre is 24.48 and BMI post is 21.66 which is a good improvement lah, because BMI should be re reduced from the larger to the smaller so means that this intervention are working right so if you if I store the t dot test into tt is it will also return the same value right i will return if you look at the statistic provide from the tt so it will provide you statistic parameter p value confidence interval estimate null value alternative method and data name right so i think uh, that's all but if you want to see um, how to present the result right so i'm going to show you how to present the result uh, somewhere here so this is how we present the result basically this is not a, the data that we use this is the exam score data so basically this is the way how we present the result we're going to we need to put mean and standard deviation for each uh, variable and mean score different and 95% confident interval, t statistic, degree of freedom, and the p-value, right? For for the sake of um, for the sake of uh, knowledge, for the sake of learning, right? So I am I am encourage you to try uh, data exam score in my website. To, to uh, for you to construct in pet sample t test and try to run by yourself and see whether you can understand how to uh, analyze data using pet sample t test so i think that's all for me uh, thank you very much and bye